So guys, with the new Model 3 being officially one year old today, we can expect some new changes to come in the following months, bringing upgrades and features alongside their other models. As we all know, the priority and focus is currently on the Model Y Juniper refresh as well as the RoboTaxi event, but it would be such a shame if they didn't put their priorities on the second best selling vehicle ever in their lineup. So being that that is the case, they are putting a ton of efforts into making the Model 3 better over the past few months, but the most important and the most critical aspect of it all is going to be the hardware for full self-driving. So aside from all the nice upgrades we can expect to see with the new Model Y, which we have recently discussed in the previous video on the 120 volt outlet, the powered frunk, and so much more. This is where Tesla has been dedicating most of their engineering resources, creating the best software as well as the next generation hardware. When it comes to Tesla, they are generally ahead of the game with design and development. This means that today's technology has likely been designed years back in preparation for what it is in 2024. So all that you see in the latest Model 3 in terms of design and features, this was likely planned sometime time in early 2020. Now we can't say for sure how long it takes for each new product to go from the design stages to production, but we can get a rough idea basing it off of previous timelines. Taking for example, during the Hardware 3 announcement in early 2019, a question had been brought up about the next generation hardware, and Elon, while on stage, confirmed that they were already working on the design of Hardware 4, and that it would be 3 to 5 times more powerful. So from 2019 to 2020, 23, this would approximately be four years before Tesla had transitioned all models over to the next generation hardware 4. And taking from this timeline, we can assume that the next generation hardware is going to come out sometime in 2027, but this is not necessarily the case. Now let me explain why that is and why the next generation hardware 5 is actually just around the corner. In my previous video, we got through all the various reasons why hardware 4 was just a stepping stone upgrade and technically should have never existed. During this transition over to hardware 4, the MCU and the full self-driving computer became stacked integrated into one unit, however it was heavily downgraded for the Model 3 and Model Y. The RAM modules have been reduced from 16 gigabytes down to 8, integrated storage has been cut in half, there is a missing GPU, as well as less data ports for a future retrofit. In addition to this, Tesla has decided to reduce the number of onboard cameras going from 9 to just 8, and although opting for quality over quantity is always the right choice, instead of redesigning the front camera housing, they put a dummy camera in its place. Now as much as we want to believe that this is an intentional design or a way of future proofing the camera system, this is not the case. This is because they haven't had a chance to redesign a product in its entirety waiting for a complete overhaul before they place the new camera housing in. We have seen Tesla do this throughout various components and parts within the car, opting to wait out for a complete overhaul before redesigning the part and putting it in their newest cars. A few examples here would be the bad placement of the horn for the Model S and X yoke. They waited all the way until the new wheel came out before they placed it back into center. Then we have the infamous lumbar adjustment for the passenger seat. This was removed a while back and covered up with a plastic insert and it took them a few years later plugging up this hole before finally releasing a new Model 3 having it completely flush. So using all of these examples, and to sum up my point here, all the hardware that we have in our cars today have probably been designed years back. That means that hardware 3, hardware 4 has been designed and constructed and produced long before it was introduced in our cars. What this also means is that hardware 4 as we call today should have technically been called hardware 3.5 because the next generation hardware was the one that was planned 4 years back. If you want to know about this stepping stone chip that I'm talking about, go check out my previous video. I went in depth into why hardware 4 as we have in our cars should have 
have never existed. But for all intended purpose here, and to keep things simple, let's just call the newest generation chip that is coming out Hardware 5. So the next generation chip, AI5 or Hardware 5, is going to be the biggest upgrade to self-driving suite ever since Tesla's departure from Mobile Eye. We have seen many of these vehicles parked at supercharging stations with the complete suite of sensors open for the public to see. The camera positioning has been adjusted to fit different body designs and panels as well as for the upcoming RoboTaxi event. In addition to the camera angles, there is also a new bumper camera at the front of the car. This is going to guide the parking stack as well as full self-driving. Then there is also the sensors themselves upgraded in all the key important areas to make them truly reliable. This means that a way to repel water, dirt, and grime and works well in the dark as well as in harsh environments. All of this has been discussed in my previous video with the hybrid sensor lens that's coming to Hardware 5. If you want to know more about that, I'll have a link in the description below. Alright, so now as we come up to the RoboTaxi event, we can expect a ton more of these engineering vehicles to roll around the road roads, but one thing that we didn't expect is for a brand new type of sensors right at the top of the vehicle. In a recent sighting by a Reddit user that goes by Shoddy Expert 108 images of a Model 3 Highland was seen equipped with what seems to be a new LiDAR unit on top of the car alongside the usual Hardware 5 sensors. This Model 3 was seen near LAX and was tailed by another engineering vehicle with a similar setup but without the LiDAR roof mount. According to this user, he was able to get next to them at a red light and asked if they were allowed to share what they were testing to which they replied no and although it was worth a shot it was an expected response as this is something they have been testing internally and trying to keep it low-key as possible but luckily for us we did get a couple images and as we zoom in it looks to be the same lidar unit that have been testing on the model y and model x for the past couple of months this is all likely in preparation for the event as well as ground truth testing against tesla vision another closer look however also reveals that that this Model 3 specifically is made in China and built for China and could be the extended length version Tesla is planning to bring to the US. And last but not least, if you look closely inside the driver's side window, you'll notice that he is holding onto something large. Now I know what you guys are thinking and I have no clue what it is and how relevant it is to all of this but I thought I'd just point it out anyways. So yeah, there you guys have it. And before you jump to any conclusions, it really grinds my gear that a lot of people believe that hardware for the way that it was built and the way it is currently in the cars right now is actually what Tesla had planned four years back. This is not something we should be seeing and this is why it's being replaced so quickly with the next generation hardware 5. If you guys are on the same boat as me and believe that this is just a stepping stone chip and that the hardware 5 is going to be one of the biggest upgrades we're ever going to see let me know in the comments below and let me know what you guys thoughts are on why Tesla had decided to do this and then have a new chip superseded only a few years later now regardless of what the outcome will be we know for a fact that hardware 5 or AI 5 is just about 18 months out and this has been confirmed by Elon one thing we know for sure is that in the next couple of months we are sure to see it on the robo taxi and we'll be getting the front bumper camera at the very minimum across the entire lineup of cars. I'm not sure if there are any other channels out there that are just as blunt as I am, but I am there with you guys. I don't know if I should be picking up a car with hardware for even with the front bumper camera, knowing that within a couple of months, there could be a chip that is going to be truly autonomous. I will continue to keep my eyes out on everything that comes out, so make sure you guys stick around and hit that subscribe and bell notification if you haven't already done so there is a ton more i want to share so make sure you guys follow me on twitter for the latest you guys can chat with me dm with me there and i will respond as quickly as possible this should be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it this is john once again peace out